thank you. I give the floor now to Honorable Tandi Modisi from South Africa. Thank you, Mr. President. To the chairperson of the budget, because it is quite, quite enlightening. We believe that uh, money must follow function. We also believe that uh, the primary primary thing about budgets is that the priorities of the institution must be outlined, the objectives set, so that all of us know what we are working on and what each cent that is appropriated goes to. We also would like to know, because in our system, Mr. President, the politician, the executive authority, is as much responsible as the accounting officer who is an official. So with us, with the South African Parliament, the budget of Parliament, I am responsible together with Madam Bet. So I think that is one of the things that we need to do so that we can remove the whole burden of accounting for the funds from the administration and make sure that the Bureau takes responsibility where it should. Mr. President, we are also concerned about the ICT levels, but we must also say that um, we do know that South Africa has signed the host agreement, which came into force in um, last year, 2017, after the South African government and the AU Commission exchanged notes. We also know that there are seven annex issues, and most of these are still under discussion, and perhaps that is where our problem is. Because these seven annex issues include the premises, includes the furniture and the air conditioning. This includes the transportation, the IT infrastructure, and the security services, as well as the accommodation and accreditation for the PAP. We also note, as South Africa, that when we compare the host agreements that we have with the African Union on the accommodation for PAP, that there is a lot of dissimilarities. And that is what is eliciting, Mr. President, the delay in the conclusion and the adoption of the annex chairs. We want to say that we are new here, but we are going to follow up on behalf of South Africa that these annex chairs are negotiated and concluded. We also note that our stakeholders, for instance, we pay the rent through the, the, the Public Works, report, uh, uh, Works Department, these premises which are not adequate cost South Africa 31.8 million per annum. We all. <laughs> Can I just conclude? Just one minute, Madam. Yes, Speaker. we also note that, Mr. President, we are told that your house was condemned. We want to set the record straight. The house which was shown to us as parliament on our demand, which was identified for the president, was not condemned. It was a property which was being purchased, and we looked at it even before it was renovated. We also note that this house, Mr. President, is not part of the host agreement. It is some of the cases that the South African government is giving towards PAP. So, it is not an obligation, it was a common courtesy, just like the transport for the Bureau and the President. But we want to follow up because we want to ensure that this, this organ of the AU truly brings together Africa in all its kinds so that we can really and truly begin to represent our citizens across the continent. And I thank you. Merci, merci. I thank you. I thank you, Madam. You are welcome. And your commitment reassures us there had been a lot of misunderstandings and uh, we must sort out a certain number of problems. The problem of accommodation, which has cost a lot for quite long for the South African government. You, uh, for two years, I was, uh, I was staying in a hotel and uh, the house which hosted the president, uh, we were told that this should be demolished in order to uh, build a new one. But up to now, we do not have any information on that. Uh, 
uh, you and your neighbor through you. I I am sure that we will <laughs> sort out all these problems. Chair, read the sins uh, from Honorable Kalyan first. Minister and U.S. Sisulu, congratulations on your appointment as Minister of Durko. I hereby tender my apology for not being able to deliver the speech in person, as I'm presently in the Pan-African Parliament. Having been at PEP since 2009, right now I have very grave feelings about the current state of affairs at PEP and question whether SA should actually be participating in the activities of PEP. The current president is largely responsible for the rot that has set in. He runs PEP like his own little fiefdom, changing the order paper at will, not being transparent about the finances, delaying presenting his annual activity report, ignoring rules of procedure, and has told the current clerk that he will soon be fired. Furthermore, he has ignored an AU decision asking PEP to apply AU rules in managing the activities of PEP, including the principle of rotation of the president and the bureau. SA is the largest contributor to the AU, and as the host country of PEP spends a large amount of money on the day-to-day -day functioning of PEP. I hereby request that the Parliament of South Africa calls for a forensic audit into the finances of PEP as a start to clean up the rot. The first item on the no. order paper. No. Mr. President, this matter is extremely unsettling. The clerk knew very well that today was a very special day. It's a day we were going for elections of the president and the vice president. The members of the bureau who will be running this session from now on for the next three years. Why is it that it is so hideous that we cannot have that order paper? It was a very straightforward matter. Why would it take so long that they are printing it now? What hidden agenda is in that order paper, Mr. President? <laughs> Mr. Clark, could you please read out the order of the day? Thank you. Order, Mr. President. Please, uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. I don't think it will cause any harm if we were to run this house in a professional manner. If we were to accept the explanation given by the clerk the most professional thing to do is for you to suspend the house and allow us to be provided with the necessary documentation before we proceed because secretary general no it is mr clark you have the floor Mr. Clark, you have the floor. Could you read out to us the order of the day? Thank you. Order, Mr. Honorable Mr. members. An appointment of order. Point of order, Mr. President. Yes. Mr. President, mm -hmm. I think it is very, very important, Mr. President, to adhere to the ethics of, parliament, of, 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 of procedure of parliament. And we do not expect, Mr. President, what we are doing now to you disregard what the members are saying. We have to deliberate on the issues which they are saying, come up with a consensus, Mr. President, because what they are demanding, it's only a parliamentary procedure. And I don't think it is fair, Mr. President, that the, the clerk himself, you would be reading the, 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 the order paper, yet he knows very well that we don't even have papers where we can write that were accorded to us by him. So it is wrong, Mr. President, the order of the day would be Give us few minutes so that the order paper can come into the house. Order, proceed, Mr. Mr. President. President. Thank you. Order. Mm. Order. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, madam. Thank you, Mr. President. I appreciate what members are saying. I think it should have been professional for an apology to be given. Because indeed, when we started the session, there was no paper in front of us. And President, I do appreciate that the program was sent to all of us before the session. However, as you know, that there had been amendments that were done. For instance, yesterday there were some amendments that were done. And I think it's appreciated that when there are changes, at least all members are cited. So it is in that spirit that members, in my view, were raising it appropriately. Unfortunately, the staff were late 
to distribute so that it caused a unnecessary constellation which none of us would uh, wish to happen. But I just think it's important to just offer an apology. It doesn't take much. Thank you, sir. Merci, madame. Je vous présente. Thank you, madam. I would like to apologize on behalf of the General Secretariat and in my personal name. Mr. Clark, you have the floor. We'll proceed with the swearing in of, uh, of new members. I announce here the resignation of the bureau that I have been leading and invite the ad hoc committee in charge of the election of the president to uh, come to the high uh, table. I thank you. The bureau is dissolved. Thank you. Following are the members of the ad hoc committee. Honorable Santosh Kalyan, representing the Southern Africa region, Caucasus. She is the chairperson of the ad hoc committee. Uh, on a point of order, Tlak, I'm not sure if you are running the I'm not sure if you are running the proceedings. Okay. Can I address Parliament through you? What procedure do we follow? What happens? Because a person just disappeared from the chair. There. You cannot address the Parliament through me. I would suggest that if there was unfinished business, by the presiding chair of this forum, uh, then maybe the, um, the plenary can decide to recall him. But who give? I have a problem, uh, Secretariat and, and no, plenary, no. because no, no. We, need, we need clarity on what is going to happen to the report which was supposed to be presented no. yesterday. No, 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 that we can ask him the question as to where are we going to get the no. report? No. no. Yes. 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 We need yes. to hold them accountable. The people who are going to elect here, yeah, what are they inheriting? What is the state of this institution? No procedure. Chairperson of ad hoc. Oh. Committee. Chair of the other committee. Madam la President, s'il vous plaît, this is Madam Chair, could you please uh, call, impose some order? Procedure. Procedure. On a point of order. On a point of order. I'm on a procedure. There is nothing to say. Let the ad hoc committee proceed. Procedure. Madam okay. Chair. Madam, Madam, Madam Chair. I'm on the floor. I am on the Let's floor. Le comité adopte le travail. Let the ad hoc committee proceed, please. Okay, much obliged. Madam Chair. Madam Chair. I'm raising Election on a, seulement. Madam Chair, I'm raising on a procedural issue. 
Thank you, Honorable Member. Can I proceed, ma'am? I was on the... Unfortunately, I cannot inter... Okay, madam. The point of what I'm raising is that since I came here and I'm a new member, I have not seen the other paper Madame being adopted by this house. The ad hoc committee does not have the right to reply to your to these queries. Because we cannot speak parole. French and you will impose yourself when other members are on the floor. I am on the floor. Ma I am Ma a representative Ma of this country. So please floor. accord me the respect Madame to address. La who has given Ma you the floor? <laughs> who had given the other ladies the, the, the floor? No, Madame the, the la qui a donné who, la parole à notre collègue? who gave the floor to our colleague? Who gave the floor to our colleague? Agree with what I have to say, you can stand up and say it. Madam Chair, the, this House has not adopted any agenda. That's the first one. Secondly, we came into this House, there was a matter on the agenda. It was removed. That matter dealt with the report from the Beru. It was raised very sharply from the floor. Uh, Yesterday, no. oh. we asked that that report be brought back into this House. We demand that that Let's report say la president be brought... Please let the president, let the chairperson speak, please. Let the chairperson speak. Thank you, Madam Chair. I rise to highlight that the order paper before us is of Tuesday, the 8th of May, 2018. There is no order paper for the 10th of May, which is Thursday. Therefore, this procedure is null and void. I want to request the clerk. Leader. Thank you. Clerk, please adjourn the house. We have no other paper for today, and this act is illegal. Adjourn the house immediately. We call on you to adjourn this house immediately. Look at this. The order paper you have given us says Tuesday, the 8th of May. And this is unprocedural. Adjourn this house immediately. Please. Point of order, please. Point of order. Point of order. Thank you. Uh, it would appear that you have the incorrect uh, order paper because I have the correct one. Um, all of us, Madam Chair. Uh, it would appear that all of us. the English version, is the French version the same? Are you also having an error? I also want to uh, thank uh, Honourable Kalian for sending a message to, to me on the issue of the Pan-African Parliament. I am very conscious of the fact that we may not have paid as much attention to the Pan-African Parliament as we should. I am also very conscious of the fact that they are experiencing a great deal of problems there and I will attend to them myself. I will write to all those members of parliament who have been um, um, deployed to the Pan-African Parliament to sit down with them so that we can assist them with their problems. We are indeed the major contributor of the resources that make that parliament run. So I take note of that uh, particular matter and I want to uh, accept that we may not have done what we should have done at the time we should have uh, taken our responsibility.